Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's edition of Come and See here at SSJ at Home. Uh, with me today is Helene McKee, who is coordinating uh, this year's effort for the Angel, Te Angel Tree Project at um, St. Simon and Jude. And like so many other things, Helene, um, we've had to sort of uh, rewrite how it's done this year because of the pandemic. How has Angel Tree um, been affected by this um, COVID? And good hey, morning. Thanks to me. Oh, thank you, and uh, thanks for having me on and, and supporting this this project. It's it's such a good project. It's something that I've been involved in for. Oh, I took it over from um, Laura Catania about uh, in 2014, and so um, we kind of stuck to her her plan. We would you know cook, have angels up on trees and um, and have specific families uh, that we would help out and then help out different schools and things and because of covid um unfortunately uh people can't meet in person like they were and so uh we used to have specific gifts and this time we're we're not doing specific gifts um so whatever we collect uh, understanding that uh people in our parish are, are having a hard time and just people in general are having a hard time because of this pandemic. Um, we are just asking for donations of, of, we have suggestions, but really whatever you feel like a child would want, uh, and that's what we're gonna be accepting. So we'll be accepting gifts um, starting the weekend after Thanksgiving. We'll be collecting uh, items after every mass um, for the, until, uh, December 6th. So December 6th is the last day that we will collect items um, and then we'll distribute them the, the next day. Um, so we really would like to encourage you to to uh, to do that if you choose to do it. We will have some trees out starting uh, the weekend before Thanksgiving just um, for ideas. Um, if people have you know want suggestions it's, it's typically things like balls, Legos, board games. Uh, if uh, we we donate to um, pregnancy assistance center north, and uh, you know some so if baby items, of course, I know a lot of people have donated to the Gabriel project, but it's a different group. But whatever you know, people are feel um, compelled to give that would be great. Gift cards are always wonderful because, especially since we can't ask for specific gifts. Um, Th that would be just fantastic. Um, there is a, uh, I think um, I sent out in the bulletin, there's a link if people wanted to um, donate directly to, to interfaith families. There is a link um, that people can go on. Um, it's a wish list through Amazon and they can um, go on to that website and choose something that they might want to do if they don't want to shop. I mean, some people really enjoy shopping. Some people have already purchased items throughout in the past already thinking about this project because we do it every year so we are going to have it uh we appreciate the support that we've had people have been so generous and um what we receive is what we'll give and uh if you can give awesome and if you can't well god bless you and and uh, you know help you through the challenges that you're facing because you know so many people are facing so many problems right now yes tell us again um uh when the gift or gifts or gift cards m must be received by? We, we like to have e all the gifts in by December 6th. Okay. So we'll be collecting all the masses. And um, if, if during the week, we're not, I, I don't know that the church is open during the week. Um, so on the weekends is really when you need, it would be good to deliver the gifts. Mm -hmm. If for some reason uh, you have a gift card or you want to write a, a, a donation. Um, I think there's a slot at the office that you can slip that in. That way it will be secure because we don't want to just leave gift cards out. Um, but, um, but otherwise, really the best way for us to collect the gifts was really because of, of the pandemic and you know things being closed, really ideally just would like to get the gifts um, on, on during um, the mass hours, you know, on the weekend. And I think it would come as no surprise to either one of us if uh, uh, St. Simon and Jude's people respond um, very generously again, like they have in so many years before. They're amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's really amazing. People are just so 
generous that you know you, we hope that one angel gets picked up and several people take five you know it's just wonderful that we you know we truly appreciate your past generosity it's just unbelievable and uh we really you know make a great effort to give to those that really need it so um thank you again in, in advance for your support and past support because it's really been phenomenal i mean people are just in, amazed uh at the generosity of our church because we really truly are a very generous church and so i thank you and the, i'm sure the lord is is happy and really you know because we we do this um Oh, we think about, you know, St. Nicholas and, and how he helped the poor and he was anonymous. And uh, so we, we try and um, we emulate that. Um, we try and emulate that, um, those virtues as well. And so I thank you so much for allowing me to help others through you. And thank you for taking on this um, task. And, uh, and I'm sure it's an honor to, to, to be able to head something up like this. And, uh, we appreciate you uh, taking the time to make other people's uh, Christmas um, even more special, and uh, to all the people at St. Simon and Jude as well, who will will help ensure that happening uh, uh, happens. So, thank you, uh, Helene, also for uh, for being with us today. Thank you so much, and um, God bless you, and have a wonderful, safe Thanksgiving and holiday you know season. Um, so thanks again for having me. I really, really appreciate it. And thank again, everybody who, who supports us and has supported us in the past. It really, um, it's just amazing. People are just so very grateful. And um, again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I truly appreciate it. Thanks, Lynn.